ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCAST episode number 506. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we are joined by a man who's seriously thinking about buying Splatoon 2 because he feels like he has a good chance of aiming at a wall properly, Wombat. Both of those are lies. <laughs> I played some of the Splatoon 2 uh, beta, so we could talk about that later. That's to remind us to talk about it later. Mm. But I was thinking about it while I was playing it. I'm like, this game seems to center around shooting floors and walls, which aren't moving. So this would be perfect for Wombat. Thank you. <laughs> You're well, anytime. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Hi, Shipwreck. Hello. Can I, can I insult you in any way at the I, very start of the show? Sure. Let's let's hear it. No, I got nothing. All right. <laughs> uh, so welcome to the show, everybody. We have uh, we have a lot of stuff to talk about this week. Apparently, looking at you the say, if you say so. I mean, a lot might be pushing it. A lot. We seem to have watched a lot of television shows and things of that nature, as always. <laughs> but we played some betas. We got the NPDs. If we feel like talking about that, I haven't really decided if we're going to get into that there's uh some good sales going on so we do have things to talk about yes we do uh including what fancy toothbrushes remember when All I, right. I talked about the sonic hair toothbrush uh like yes. a couple weeks ago that i got for a birthday present or not birthday present uh-huh. i got for a uh, father's day present i do recall that episode yes so i'm still really enjoying it and it's a toothbrush. It's it's a very powerful toothbrush for your for your for your mouth for your teeth. For your, yeah, you, you'd want to use that in your mouth. It's a toothbrush for brushing your teeth. Yes. I mean, you could use it elsewhere too. But sure, I think it, I, it, all it, kinds of different attachments for this thing, right? Uh, they're all basically toothbrushes. Like a Dremel. I don't know what that is, but really, does that go in your butt? No, it's a tool. Oh, for like building things. You think I would know what that is? Decorating things, even. <laughs> you think I would know what that is? If I know what it is, you should know what it is. Um, I did install... Well, well, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself now. So uh, anyway, the last time we, I took Ty to the dentist, the dentist said that Ty has been doing a very poor job brushing his teeth and recommended getting him an electric toothbrush, which I, I did get him like one of those really cheap ones, like eight bucks or something. But sure, I saw the, that... The spin brush. Yeah, I don't know. It was something or other. But it was you can buy it at like any drugstore. Mm-hmm. So I noticed that Amazon was selling a Sonic Care for Kids toothbrush. And it was, I don't know, had some coupon that you got with it. And so it was only like 30 bucks or something around there. So I was like, oh, if this thing is, you know, half as powerful as the thing that I'm putting in my mind, in my mouth, this is going to take care of all of his plaque and stuff. So I picked it up for him. And it is actually pretty cool. And I know, Wombat, you said that your kids are at the dentist a lot. So I thought that you might enjoy this for your kids. Uh, it, it has some cool feature where it's got, it's got Bluetooth in it. So in addition to just being like a very powerful electric toothbrush, sure. there's, an app, there's an app that you can download. And you set it up for your kid. And it gives your kid like a, some little monster that he can play with. And so what happens is you brush your teeth, you know, it tells you, okay, start brushing your teeth, push the button now. And as soon as you push the button on the toothbrush, it shows a video of the toothbrush going into your mouth and specifically brushing specific parts of your teeth. So it basically leads the kid around his whole mouth with the toothbrush. So you really like it's foolproof. And it like, you know, just like my toothbrush, it it like buzzes every 30 seconds. So, you know, you're moving on to the next section. But when you're done brushing your teeth for two minutes, then you get like a little loot box that you get to open. And it has little costumes for your, I mean, it's basically like a Pokemon looking thing. So, when are you going to be trading in your toothbrush for this? I know. (laughs) I saw that they had... But they had an app like for adults too. That's, and I was like, oh, yeah, we need to gamify this augmented reality toothbrush. And I was like, oh shit, like I had like the toothbrush that I got was like super fancy. So I want to see, you know, it's supposed to tell you like if you're brushing too hard, if you're, you know, not getting all the right areas. So I like trying to sync this thing to my toothbrush for like 10 minutes. Like, I don't know, you know, it's just not working, nothing's happening. 
And then I realized that my toothbrush doesn't have Bluetooth. It's like for a model that had just come out like a day ago or a day or two ago. So I wasted a lot of time doing that. But it sucks for you. It sucks for me. But Ty really looks forward to brushing his teeth now because I think the he thing, has the fancy one, that, the Bluetooth. Because he's got the little. Where did you get it? I got it on Amazon. I, I saw that the okay. coupon's not there anymore, so now it's thirty-five oh. bucks. But it was, it was. I think I paid thirty for it. I wonder if my dentist has like coupons for that at his office. Maybe it seems really good. He now like. Yeah. Because I'm I, getting a root canal on Wednesday, so when I'm there, I'll ask. <laughs> perfect, perfect timing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just never. That's I not a joke, by the way. No. I am getting oh, a root I, canal on Wednesday. I believe you. It's, you just, it's hard to like every other week. I have terrible teeth. It's hereditary. My yes. mother has terrible teeth. I have terrible teeth. My children are going to have terrible teeth. I, I feel bad for them, but what can you do? Yeah. I didn't really trust that Ty was doing really brushing his teeth properly. He would basically just go into the bathroom with a toothbrush and then he would sneak a book in there with him. And yeah, he wasn't really nailing it. So this thing seems to be good so far. So yeah, Sonic Care for kids. Excellent. Yeah, I, I got a new fridge and a new stove instead. Is, is there any apps with that? There are no apps with it, but it does have the stove has this one because I'm I was the stove that we had in the house before we had had for the last decade. And it came with the house. So it was probably like 30 years old. Mm-hmm. All the burners were the same size. It was it was a pretty basic stove. Is that bad? Well, now we have a stove where there, there's four burners. Well, actually five burners because there's one big one in the middle for like a, for like a skillet if you wanted to make like a breakfast, like mm. a flatbed thing. Oh, you know? I gotcha. Yeah. A, a griddle. And then there's, then there's the four like traditional burners. And one of them is kind of small, I guess, if you want to make, like, small things. And one of them is huge. And when I first turned on the oven to make sure it worked, I didn't realize I was turning on the big one. And I put a pan on it that was probably, like, just a tad too small for the giant burner. And it was like a wok in a Chinese restaurant, you know, and the flame shoots up around the sides. <laughs> too hot. I was like, whoa. <laughs> was, so, that, was that supposed to be a Chinese chef being surprised? No, that was just me being surprised. Oh, okay, I thought I thought I detected a Chinese accent there. Nope, that was uh, <laughs> just you hearing things, or it was me unintentionally using a Chinese accent. Right. So, but yeah, no. So, new stove. Everybody's got exciting yeah. uh, appliances and apparatus coming in and out yeah. of the house. Fantastic, then. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been talking. Those who've been listening to the show probably heard me complain about my fridge for about two years now. So, <laughs> it was time. I hear you. Mm-hmm. 